Giuseppe and Alda Ruffalo are exploring the French countryside to find the perfect four-bedroom home with a big yard, a spacious kitchen, and room to entertain. Oh, and one more key thing. They want this house to be a castle. Spectacular. I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is not real. Pinch me. <laughs> but can they find a dream castle that satisfies their needs and fits their budget? <gasps> Breathtaking. I think this might be my room. Nine bathrooms. That's a lot of cleaning for me. It's normally his job. The Kennedy family stayed there. It's fabulous. Oh, this is spectacular. Do you know what I think? I think we're going to need more friends. This is Castle Hunters. I'm Alda. And I'm Giuseppe Ruffalo. My husband's very passionate about everything he puts his mind to. Exciting, but at the same time, very scary. Alda keeps me grounded. It takes me a long, long process of convincing her. But she usually comes around. I usually come around. We're in France and we're about to shop for castles. We have vacationed here in France for many years. I have a really neat spiritual connection to France. The culture, the people, the history, honestly, it's amazing. France has the most beautiful castles anywhere in the world. I find a castle to be quite exciting in what it offers. It's got all these interesting rooms and crannies. The castle is not just a building, it's a story that can live on if we restore it and maintain it again. Giuseppe and Alda are searching for a castle with at least four bedrooms, four to 6,000 square feet, and about five acres of land. They also want a large open kitchen, a tree-lined driveway, and easy access to local amenities. Ideally, their castle will come furnished for the price. Their budget is between one and $1.3 million. So I wrote in my journal eight years ago that I would buy a castle in Europe, renovate it, and then save it for the next generation. And now my Here dream might come true. I told you you should have let me drive. <laughs> Couldn't get another neutral. Look at these beautiful rolling hills. Look at this little town coming up. Giuseppe and Alda's first stop is in the town of Chateau Chinon. Located in the Burgundy region of France, the town center features several small stores and restaurants, as well as a farmer's market on the weekends. It's a three and a half hour drive from Paris and approximately 45 minutes from the first castle Giuseppe and Alda will see. Okay, this is not real, is it? Pinch me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. <sighs> This is incredible. Morning. Good morning. My name is Giuseppe. Good morning. Welcome to the Renaissance Chateau en Bourgogne. This is a 19th century Haussmannian chateau in the Renaissance style, and it is built on foundations dating back to 835. Wow. <laughs> That's the best impression. The castle was built in the 1850s by a lottery winner who won 280,000 francs. Today, it's the home of a Nobel Prize laureate. The property here has five acres. The asking price is 1.6 million US dollars. The price is over our budget. That's going to be probably our biggest stumbling point. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I like it. This is lovely. It has three, four salons. It has an office. Upstairs we have 10 bedrooms, nine bathrooms. Nine bathrooms, that's a lot of cleaning for me. Yeah, it's normally his job. It had quite a grand entrance. I was impressed. I love the ornamental moldings. I love the ceiling moldings. It's hard to believe this could be our home. Welcome here in the dining room. <gasps> Breathtaking. Does this door make me look small? It makes me feel small. Look at the ceiling. That's very attractive. Many French castles were robbed of their bronze hardware by German troops in World War II. But this castle is one of the few exceptions. This is an old ceramic heater. So you'd heat up your pot in here and keep it warm. In here is the functioning fire heater. 
Uh, Edward, I can honestly see us with family around this table. This is gorgeous. Here we are in the Grand Salon. Wow. I love the size. I love the fact that it's got an oval shape to it. I think this might be my room. The living room was quite grand. The uh, curved wall on the end was spectacular because it gave you the illusion of an even larger room. How is it heated? It is heated by a central heating system running on oil. Yeah, it's certainly something to think about as far as the heating goes. It's a large chateau, so the heating system is not going to be cheap to run. The square footage is not something that we require. It's an added bonus, but it also is added to the cost. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that fireplace. It's green marble. Beautiful desk. This could make a good office mm -hmm. for me. The castle also has a billiards room and several dressing rooms. Since castles rarely have closets, storage can sometimes be an issue. Well, this must be the kitchen. Well, what do you think, hon? Well, oh, it's the kitchen. Small. <laughs> Her and I would never be able to stay in the kitchen together. 150 years ago, the main kitchen was located in the castle's basement, where a staff of 10 prepped the food. Today, the only functional kitchen is this prep kitchen in the castle's tower. This is going to be the hardest sell on this. I agree. It's a grand place. It really is. My favorite room is the dining room. I love the warmth. I love the way the furniture is set up. The kitchen is an issue for us. It's small. There isn't much that we can really do with it unless Giuseppe has some great ideas up his sleeve. The parkland is exquisite because it gives us the privacy. I can see our grandkids building tree forts in those hundred-year-old trees. The acreage is also exactly what we're looking for. This could be the type of castle we see ourselves living in. That's incredible. My gosh, what a beautiful place. Isn't amazing? How many castles are currently for sale in France? Two to three thousand? Five to six thousand? or 10 to 12,000. How many castles are currently for sale in France? There are an estimated two to 3,000. Giuseppe and Alda's next stop on their castle hunt is in La Chartre sur le Loire, which is located in the Loire Valley, about two and a half hours from Paris. In addition to its restaurants, hotels, and small shopping area, the town is a well-known destination for the annual Le Mans Grand Prix Auto Race. The castle is just five minutes from the town center. Look at the tree-lined driveway. It's exactly what I was looking for. That is wow. amazing. Oh. Look at the detail work on the top of the dormers. Edward. Hello. Welcome to the Chateau in Touraine, a chateau fit for a king. I love it. Chateau en Touraine was built in 1852. A hundred years later, President John F. Kennedy roamed its halls and vacationed here. After his death, his wife Jackie Kennedy spent time recovering at the castle. We have an estate here of 25 acres, seven bedrooms on the master bedroom floor, 12 bedrooms on the floor above. I'm overwhelmed already. <laughs> you know what I think? I think we're gonna need more friends. The land, the massive trees, the size of the castle, it's breathtaking. It was built in the 19th century. It was the latest technology for that time. The asking price is 1.7 million US dollars. So it's a little over our budget, yes. but spectacular. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I can't wait to go inside. This worries me because when he's that passionate about anything, I start to panic. Cool. Shall we go I can't in? wait. Wow, these are really high ceilings. Yeah. Isn't this a fabulous entree? Yes, it is. So let me show you the dining room here. Wow. I love the size and the windows and the amount of light that's generated. The dining room, unfortunately, the walls do need some tender loving care. They're old, they need to be refurbished. Hallways are rarely found on the main floor of French castles. Wow. Instead, the rooms are designed for entertaining and flow seamlessly into one another. You've got such great size rooms. Every room is connected, great flow, perfect for entertaining. The floor to ceiling windows in all of these rooms are amazing because you get the full view of the outside. It feels like you're part of the outside. 
You know what I think our problem is going to be? It's not going to be inviting the people. It's going to be getting them to leave. <laughs> I love the walls here. All the walls have silk linings. The decor here is very nice. Quite taken by that lovely window glass. That is magic. Let me show you. Lights during the day. If it gets dark outside. That is genius. You can close this and that becomes a mirror. Isn't it great? The castle's main floor also has a billiards room, an outdoor patio, and a moderately sized kitchen. Oh, this is a grand staircase. Feel like a princess yet? I do. Gorgeous. This is a beautiful sized bedroom. Very spacious. I love the fact that there's a fireplace in here. The bedrooms are very large. I love the availability of space so that you could create little sitting areas. Oh, look at big clawfoot tub. Your That's favorite. Neat. And I find that quite interesting, a little secret pathway. There's a winding staircase. So this is the third level. This is the first level of the servants' quarters. In the 1800s, a staff of 10 cleaned and cooked for the castle's owners, while another 15 oversaw the ground maintenance. Now, certainly a level that would require a little bit more renovations. Oh, yes, for sure. This is the servants' staircase. It used to go downstairs into the basement. Wow. This is really old. And look at the arched ceilings mm -hmm. on this. That supports the whole structure. Going downstairs, I could see an incredible wine cellar down there. Lots of storage areas and some interesting bats. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't think that was a selling feature for the place. Love the grounds. I love the size. Although 11,000 square feet is quite large. We've got 20 bedrooms a yard of 25 acres, everything is big. It's also quite close to Paris, so if we do decide that we want to do some shopping, we can run into Paris in a couple of hours, and I really enjoy that. Now, the problem is that it's not just the fact that it's over budget, it's now we have to spend the money renovating the second, the third floor. It would certainly attract guests if we were going to consider other means of income revenue. Modern castle owners have to find creative ways to bring in revenue. This property actually has a chapel on site, and a castle like this can fetch $15,000 a weekend if rented out as a wedding venue. I really don't know if we can afford this. I love it, but... Look at that amazing view on the city. Wow. That was worth the treacherous walk. <laughs> How much does it cost per year to maintain a medium-sized castle in France? Fifteen to thirty thousand dollars, twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars, or fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars. How much does it cost to maintain a medium-sized castle in France? The cost can range between fifteen thousand and thirty thousand dollars a year. The final stop on Giuseppe and Alda's tour is in Exideuil. It's a small French town of only thirteen hundred people. It has one grocery store and a handful of restaurants, but the nearest nightclub is two hours away. Giuseppe and Alda are meeting with another agent, Bruno de Saint-Exupéry, who will lead them through their final castle. So, Giuseppe, Alda, this is Chateau d'Exideuil. Wow. Amazing. It's incredibly high. Can you imagine somebody laying all those stones one at a time? This is a house which is about 4,300 square feet. It has six bedrooms, six bathrooms, now, how much is this, Bruno? It's around $1.2 million. It just has a wow factor to it. It's tremendous. I mean, the entry is like, wow. Wow, this is amazing. The entranceway is one of the few rooms in the castle large enough to fit a formal dining table. When we first walked inside, a huge fireplace that faces you as you walk through the door, it was amazing. It's very different. I'm not used to coming from the entrance and seeing a formal dining room. The dining table was directly in front of the entrance door. So that in itself kind of threw me off a bit. Now, does the furniture come with the chateau? Uh, it can, yes, it, it can. can. It is added okay. to so the price. Nice. Wow, this is spectacular. 15th century, lovely sculpture, dating back from the early 16th century. The Gothic architecture here is unbelievable. This is a gorgeous room. The castle was once home to several famous French musicians, 
but its most famed guest was true royalty, King Henry IV. I mean, how many places would King Henry have visited? This is one of them. It's fabulous. This is the room that would be a perfect room for the guys and I, smoke a cigar, light a big fire. We I might have that. to debate on that, Bruno, because this would be great for a meditation, yoga room. So this is one of the six bedrooms. It's a bit small, but I can see some potential. I mean, obviously, we'd have to take a look at the wallpaper and the carpet would need replacing. And the ensuite, if I may take a look. Tiles need a little bit of work. Yes, yes. But it's a good size, yes, very spacious in here. The castle also has a large office and several bedrooms on the upper level. But Giuseppe and Alda's key rooms might not be the size they're looking for. The kitchen, uh, very difficult to operate, even for two people. It was quite small. The master bedroom was way too small. Would never fit the furniture that we would want in there, but that room beside it was a grand room with a fireplace, and that would be a perfect master bedroom. So there is going to have to be some conversions done. We're going to go up these towers. It's about 80 feet high. It has 134 steps. These fortified towers were originally built to spot intruders, but in the year 1182, they were attacked by King Richard the Lionheart. That was a good hike. Look at that amazing view amazing. on the city. That was worth the treacherous walk. <laughs> it was. Wow. That's incredible. Another area completely over there the treachery of going up those stairs. 134. 134 stairs were very, very steep, but the view is dramatic. Mm -hmm. Well, this would be awesome because we could sit up here for the better part of the day, Let's enjoy a nice wine. lunch. You'd have to bring two bottles of wine here because you're not going to go back down to get the other bottle. <laughs> Once you finish the first. Yes. <laughs> I really like the entrance. I like the fact that it's a large room with a beautiful fireplace. My favorite is the 15th century chapel. Uh, I've seen it's that. Beautiful. Yes. The acreage is a little bit smaller than what we were looking for. We've seen the town and I love how close it is. Very convenient. Looking at those towers outside, they are quite fabulous. The problem is those towers are very expensive to maintain. What do you mean by maintenance? Because it doesn't need any maintenance for centuries. There's quite a bit of stone now that's loose in the tower. Structural issues are probably the most difficult things to repair on a castle because it takes a lot of scaffolding, it takes a lot of chiseling. If you don't repair them, they fall out. It could take a long time. Centuries. Yes, but it still has to be maintained. I think it concerns your great, great, great grandchildren. <laughs> It certainly falls within our price range. We'd have to make sure that it's going to be efficient enough cost-wise that it makes sense for us to purchase the property. And is this what we absolutely want? Because you can't just like it, you have to love it. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> okay. I'm really, Don't I'm beg. really... How long does a French castle typically stay on the market? One to six months? Six to twelve months? Or twelve to eighteen months? How long does a French castle typically stay on the market? The average is between 6 and 12 months. We've seen all three castles. Now it's time to make a decision. I think it's going to be very tough, but I also think we can narrow it down to two. The Chateau Exedieu was lovely. I was actually quite pleasantly surprised how beautiful that main level was. Yes, I agree. The towers were amazing. Well, that chapel with the Gothic architecture was to die for. The town, it was a very sort of a non-event town. We'd have to travel right. a greater distance to get the amenities that we're looking for. The size of the land is only one acre, right. which means that we'd have very little privacy. I think overall, there were more negative aspects than I'd like to consider. Let's talk about Chateau en Bourgogne. Mm -hmm. Lots of square footage. Yes. It's got good interior space and it's got the right amount of land with five acres. You know, the rooms were lovely, but I found each one of them needed a lot of attention. That kitchen is almost impossible to expand. Being in the tower, it's very unfunctional. The other factor is the price. At 1.6, it is extremely over our budget. Let's talk Chateau en Touraine. Mm -hmm. 
you drive up that beautiful tree-lined driveway and you see this incredible facade. Yes. The main rooms. Oh, they're so spectacular. They are spectacular. The Kennedy family stayed there. Think about the history behind that. You've got Paris within, you know, yes. two, two and a half hours away. And the little town, which is only a few minutes away, it's very convenient in saying that. It's even more over budget I know. than the I know. one in Burgundy. We'd have to work with how we'd be able to even supplement. It's just huge, but we might be able to work that to our advantage. Investment-wise, I feel that this property could be worth double. If we do the renovations, we yeah. could concentrate on only a couple of the bedrooms that we need to renovate. We will make money and continue its legacy. Honestly, Giuseppe, I don't know if I'm there. I know, and I know it's always a challenge for you, but please, <laughs> okay, I really, don't I bake. really... <laughs>